Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm taking you along with me for an amazing walk to one of the most stunning spots in Cornwall, the Rumps. So currently we are staying in Bodmin and we are going to head out towards Pentire and we're going to park our car in the Pentire place parking and then we are going to take a breathtaking walk towards the Rumps where we will be treated to incredible views overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. So guys, grab your walking shoes and let's get started. So here we are, we are staying in Bodmin at the moment and this is our second day here. And so on the first day, we actually went to St. Ives. And if you want to watch the vlog of the first day, then I will link it here. So you can watch that vlog as well. You can tell you a vlog, please upload. Okay guys, so so vlog is morning morning to start and we are ready. And we are going downstairs for our breakfast. So today we have to check out from the hotel and check out here at 11 o'clock 11 a.m. right so we are going to check out from the room at 11 o'clock and uh, everything is almost packed and we are just going to have our breakfast right now and then we will head back up to our room take our stuff and then simply check out from the so hotel. breakfast here is quite nice and fresh and you can get almost everything Plus, the restaurant is also quite nice and very nicely decorated. So guys, it might sound a bit funny but I really enjoyed this pancake machine that you can see in the video right now. And believe me guys, the pancakes were so good. Um, they were really, uh, I mean, they were really fluffy and soft and they were sweet as well. So I really like sweet pancakes. So, and the best part is that you can make them yourself. So we really enjoyed making them ourselves. Although we didn't have to pour in the batter because that was already done by the hotel people. But we just had to press one button and the pancakes would just automatically come out of the machine. <laughs> and guys just look at the size of these pancakes i mean it was so cute they, they look really cute to me so we were just waiting for our second one and just look at that and believe me it was really tasty So I'm going to meet you after completing my breakfast now. Or Yirhi Hamari Chai, which was actually quite nice. It was the English breakfast tea. So guys, while having a breakfast, we are just thinking about our plan for today. Because today we have to go to a place where we are going to go to our Bodmin and Redding. Although we have been to a lot of places here, but we have been to a few. And personally, my heart is wanting to go to a walk place. Where we can hike a little bit or walk and we can enjoy some views. And we can have a picnic if you want. But let's see. We have checked out from the hotel. And I'll show you where we're going next. So we have decided that we will go to Pentire and uh, Pentire is a very beautiful place where the view is very good and there you can easily walk as well or you can easily hike although it is like not a very straight walk it is a bit elevated but it is not of a very high difficulty as well so like a lot of people can do it but we will know what kind of walk hai. Um, but we are hopeful. 
तो गाइज वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर जर्नी नाउ और ये जो आप लेफ्ट पे देख रहे हैं दिस इज़ द सर्विस एरिया सो यहाँ पे काफ़ी सारे रेस्टोरेंट्स हैं और कुछ और शॉप्स भी हैं uh, एक ग्रोसरी स्टोर भी है सो यू कैन गेट थिंग्स फ्रॉम हेयर एंड डू सम शॉपिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट and the weather is quite nice guys um it's not too cold and plus it's quite bright as well although i can see a lot of clouds but it's still very bright which is really nice it is always a plus if the weather is nice and you get to enjoy more on your trip So, abhi time ho raha hai 11:18. Please leave the roundabout at the third exit. Okay. So, abhi baj rahe hain 11:23. Hum around 11:18 pe bhi left our hotel. Wahan se humne thode se snacks liye hain for the road. Um uske baad hum aaye hain gaadi mein and then hum aaye hain petrol station. Wahan se humne petrol fill kiya hai. Aur ab hum pahunch jayenge apni destination pe at 11:53. Sure, the journey is going to be. And I'm sure the journey is going to be beautiful. Well, the journey did turn out to be beautiful, but it also turned out to be quite adventurous. Or ye, ab aage chal ke dekhenge ki main sa kyun keh rahi hu. So, guys, like I said before, currently we are in Bodmin, and I think it will take around 40 to 50 minutes of this drive, which will take us to our destination. व्यूज देखें कितने प्यारे हैं So the road is very beautiful and the views are amazing but the drive over here is really really difficult guys kyunki aap dekhte jaye ki aage aage ja ke aur zyada patli hoti jayegi it will become even more narrow abhi bhi ye kafi narrow hai and believe me guys uh driving on this road is not easy because it is a two way road and just as you can see how difficult it is for two cars to pass Good thing is that it is not very crowded. This particular turn just shook me totally and I was like are we going in the right direction or not? Uh but we were following the navigation and it was just taking us to these kind of places to ye kafi hi kuch adventure mein turn out ho gaya hame hi pata tha ki ye ek chote se लाइक फोर्टी मिनट्स की ड्राइव जो है वो इतनी ज़्यादा एडवेंचरस हो जाएगी और वी वर जस्ट लुकिंग एट दी नेविगेशन टू सी कि अब और कितना रास्ता रह गया है और बट बट जस्ट लुक एट द व्यूज लाइक द ट्रीज आर सो क्लोज बाय एंड यू नो समाइम्स दे आर लाइक इन अ कैनपी विच इज सो ब्यूटिफुल बट इट वॉज रियली रियली आई मीन डर इस बात का लगता है कि अगर सामने से कोई गाड़ी एकदम आ जाए बिकॉज द रोड इज़ नॉट क्वाइट विजिबल फ्राम हेयर लाइक दूर तक नज़र नहीं आ रही तो कोई अगर गाड़ी आ जाएगी तो फिर यू नो इट विल गेट अ बेट डिफिकल्ट टू पास बाय वी वर जस्ट होपिंग कि कोई गाड़ी ना आए और अगर आए भी तो यू नो इतनी ज़्यादा फास्ट स्पीड में ना हो So guys um video way it looks like it was a very smooth and nice drive and not difficult at all but believe me it was difficult when you're actually there then you can sense it somehow <laughs> but it was so cute and i love such roads actually oh my god just look at this canopy of the trees the khoobsurat hai ye nature is so beautiful और यहाँ पर आकर तो बिल्कुल ऐसे ही लग रहा था जैसे हम किसी वॉकिंग पाथ पे ड्राइव कर रहे हैं बट नो गाइज इट वॉज अ प्रॉपर रोड एंड इट वॉज मेड फॉर कार्स सो वी वर नॉट ड्राइविंग ऑन जस्ट लाइक अ वॉकिंग पाथ सो 
एक तरफ तो बहुत ज़्यादा यू नो यू गेट्स केयर्ड बट दूसरी तरफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट इन्जॉय द सीनरी बट ये कि कॉन्स्टेंटली आई वॉज लुकिंग एट दी नाविगेशन जस्ट टू सी हाउ मच फर्दर दिस रोड इज़ गोइंग टू गो बिकॉज आई थिंक हम किसी और रस्ते से भी आ सकते थे बट लाइक नाविगेशन ब्रॉट एस थ्रू हेयर प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दिस वन वॉज द शॉर्टर रूट सो या We are just trying to enjoy this moment. क्योंकि देखिए आप यहाँ पर काफ़ी कार्स आई हुई हैं एंड आई मीन दिस रोड इज गेटिंग नैरोअर एंड नैरोअर एंड द हेज ऑन द साइड इज लाइक क्वाइट टॉल सो इट वॉज गिविंग क्वाइट अ फीलिंग लाइक वी वर ड्राइविंग इन अ मेज बिकॉज हमें एंड तो नज़र आ ही नहीं रहा था कि एंड होना कहाँ पर है We were so thankful for the navigation, so we can actually see, okay, you know, how much more of this road is left to be covered. But आप just scenery enjoy करें, <laughs> just enjoy the scenery, guys. तो गाइज इंग्लैंड में इस तरह की काफ़ी रोड्स होती हैं एंड वी हैव बिन टू अ फ्यू बिफोर एज वेल सो वी वर प्रिपेयर बट आई थिंक हम जितनी भी रोड्स पे पहले गए हैं और इस रोड सो दिस वॉज द नैरोस्ट दैट वी हैव बिन टू प्लस इट वॉज क्वाइट लॉन्ग एज वेल सो इट आई थिंक दिस रोड हैज गिवन एस quite a good adventure or kafi hame we got a lot of thrill from a uh, driving here it was like a a ride jaise hoti hai na it felt like that but i'm just going to say that it was all worth it because it was worth it in the end plus this road is also really beautiful to enjoy and just a little bit more to go So finally guys we are going to come out of this maze and we are going to go towards the destination. So we are very near the parking area now uh, which is called the Pentire Glaze. So guys finally we have reached the destination and this is the Pantire Glaze car park so if you are also coming in your car then you can easily park your car here and this is a paid parking so you have to pay the parking here as well So there is a cafe here as well near the car park uh, before you enter and over there you can see the board which has all the information of the hike and the places that you can go so guys when we reached here i felt like this place has a very laid back vibe um if you know what i mean so i think it was really nice and this board is what i'm talking about it has all the information um so it is the, the walk is basically a circuit walk you can even if you want you can complete the entire walk or um you can go to different places and just come back whenever you feel like coming back i think this um area is stunning and this is perfect for people who love to go for hiking so guys we are here and this is the place from where we are going to begin our hike and um as you can see in the video It is a bit steep but it is still very enjoyable. So actually jab hum yahan par pahunche to I felt like this area was quite calm. It was actually calmer than most areas that I've been to. 
and one of the reasons could be that it was all like an open area plus plus it was not very crowded so guys aaj sunday hai aur yahan par kafi kam log aaye hue hain i don't know why maybe it is a hidden gem or maybe uh, because of the height so we are going to start from here and as you can see ki yahan par directions bhi di hui hain सो गाय सेंट टाइम्स बीच पर जाने के बाद ये जगह बिल्कुल ऐसे लग रही है जैसे वी आर इन द मिडल ऑफ नो वेयर आई लव कि यहाँ पे इतनी ओपननेस का एहसास हो रहा है दूर दूर तक कोई बिल्डिंग नहीं है कोई गाड़ी नहीं है एंड लाइक इवन द क्राउड इज सो लेस सो दिस प्लेस इज गिविंग सच काम वाइब्स सो वेन यू स्टार्ट द हाइक देन यू गोइंग टू वॉक ऑन दिस रोड फॉर सम टाइम इट्स इट्स नॉट वेरी नैरो एंड आई थिंक इवन कार्स कैन कम हेयर So you have to be careful about that but the cars are also very careful because people are walking here and on your left side is a very very beautiful view which I'm going to show you soon in the video So guys if you come to Cornwall but you want to avoid the crowds and you want to go for a hike or a walk then I think this is the best place to come without a doubt So guys this is the view that I was talking about earlier this is your view on the left side and it was amazing So guys like I was saying earlier that if you want to visit uh, a quieter place in Cornwall then you can always come to this place and this is so peaceful because Cornwall itself uh, is quite busy especially St Ives jahan ka vlog maine pehle share kiya hai the place where we visited earlier So while you're walking here this is going to be the view on your left side and guys it was stunning it was so stunning and beautiful that i mean it would be difficult for you to keep your face straight and not look to your left because the view is just beautiful and as you keep walking and as you keep going a little bit higher and higher with each step then the view is going to become even more beautiful so we stopped uh, at quite a number of places because it was so beautiful and i just wanted to like just take it all in So it is quite windy on the day that we visited. Maybe you will be able to hear it if I don't mute the video while editing. But let me tell you it was quite windy and also it was not that cold. I think I could just sit here and stare at this view all day. I mean nature has such beautiful colors, the blue, the green, the dark green and then the brown because it was um because the summer was ending and autumn was about to begin also the stops were also necessary due to the level of fitness that we had so obviously we had to take some breaks to rest a bit and to catch a breath just kidding guys it was not that steep <laughs> but yeah i mean i needed any reason to just stop and enjoy the view So guys after coming up on that road uh, this is where you're going to come next So guys we were quite lucky that day that it wasn't raining because if it was raining then obviously the path that we are going to take next would have been a bit muddy So guys is video mein maine bahut hi kam cheeze cut ki hain even though kafi lambe lambe clips hain because i mean i didn't want to cut them to be honest or to agar aapko thoda lamba lage to i mean feel free to forward it but i just want to keep it as much detailed as possible so guys you can see the path in the video we are going to go there now and there is a little gate over here from which we're going to pass and then we're going to walk 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 and uh, enjoy the stunning views and just um 
go towards the highest point from where we're going to get uh, stunning views I'm sure so while you'll be walking this is the view on your right side and make sure that you're stopping and enjoying everything that you see so previously we were walking on a hard path which felt like a road but now we are almost um, on a soft path to be honest i like this path more because it is giving more natural vibes which i'm all for so guys and i think we are quite near to the viewpoint So guys, in the video right now, you can see the path that we used to come to this point. And uh, on a day like this, which is um, not like a lot windy and which is particularly not rainy, uh, the hike is not going to be that difficult. Um, but obviously, if it is raining, then uh, the, uh, the walk might be difficult due to muddy situation. So guys, we are almost there now and uh, we have reached the viewpoint. So here you go, this is the ramps for you all. So guys, while I was here, I felt like I wasn't part of this world, to be very honest, because, I mean, this place was just silent. There was no noise of uh, the usual hustle bustle of the traffic, people, or anything like that. It was just these cliffs, the sea, and the wind, and the sea breeze. And basically, if you have a building or something which is actually um, very, very comforting. And you can see the sea and cliffs. So I think it is just wow. So guys, because this place was higher up from the ground and because there were no like buildings and roads nearby, the sound of this place was totally different and so, so peaceful. So it mainly felt like we were just out of this world somewhere else. It didn't feel like we were a part of this world when we reached here. Because here is a very normal you know, building, cars, 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 and you know, the everyday life ka jo ek, uh, sounds are not available here, but here you could just hear the wind, um, the sea breeze, and you could just hear the sea, and, you could just hear the sea, and uh, sound of water, and just dur dur tak, or you know, uh, the grass, you know these I don't know what you call it if you'd call it grass or something else but this the wind was passing through it and you could hear that you could hear like the sound of nature um, or ye wali sound is very precious because yahaper is sound can the tha ki bilkul bhi kisi aur sound ki milawat nahi hai. and purely purely you can hear just nature. So guys, for me, this experience was so, so amazing. I mean, I just don't know how to put it into words, but um, you'll have to visit this place to find out. And I can just hope that on the day when you visit, uh, you get a very beautiful weather as well and you can enjoy it as much as I did. So guys, I felt like staying here for like an hour or two and just enjoy the scenery. 
and uh, the nature sounds but i was told that no we have to go back as well because the next day was monday so we had to like leave this place and we had uh, about like four or five hours of journey to go back to our city and so from this point onwards we started our journey back or because we took the same path and guys this cafe was situated at just the right place because on your way back you will definitely feel hungry after this hike so we just stopped there to get a quick bite so guys this is it for today's video and i'm going to see you in my next one if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and uh, please subscribe to my channel as well thank you so much for watching guys see you in my next video until then take care everyone and goodbye